Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to first apologize for the noise. I'm on vacation. This is Lake Ontario in the background here, and I'll be here for a little bit. So I thought I'd just record the video since iOS 10 Beta 2 came out. So let me change the camera angle and we'll take a look at what's new. The download came out, and this is my iPhone 6S Plus. You can see it's about 536.4 megabytes. Downloaded that. It took probably a good half hour to install very long install let's take a look at the version number you can see this is version number 14a 5297c now a lot of you have asked me why are there so many bugs and in this release there's actually a ton of bug fixes developer betas especially the first two to three have a ton of bugs everything from bad battery life to crashes in fact mine regularly crash two to three times a day so i actually just switched back to my iphone 6s with ios 9.3 on it just because because I couldn't take how how terrible it was and and uh, I don't suggest installing this unless you have a backup device or something like that or you can switch back now Apple did have about 10 pages of update fixes in this particular update and they also uh, have some additional bugs in here so there's a lot of things in music that won't work for example but they did fix a lot of things but I'm gonna talk about the changes now the messages App Store is now available so if you go in here go to your apps tap in the bottom left we now have store so you can see here we have the classic mac stickers hearts hands smileys we can get all of that pretty simply and then we can just manage everything here and we have automatically add apps there's images music right now that's already included so pretty nice we've got that now there's also a low quality mode for messages now so if you go into messages you can go all the way to the bottom and you've got a low quality image mode so it says when this is on images sent will be lower quality probably to save data if you're in a poor signal area or whatever uh, we now also have 3d touch in the control center so if we slide up we can 3d touch the flashlight and we've got different settings for our flashlight so that's kind of neat we also have some settings for the clock so we've got one hour 20 minutes five minutes we also have an update with organ donations they make it easy to do organ donations if you fill out your card that has all of your information i'm not going to show that because it's got all of my information on it but the card where you fill out all of your medical id information you can now do easy organ donation information there as well they've also tweaked HomeKit, and you'll see stuttered there a little bit they also tweaked HomeKit and some of the icons made that a little bit different uh, they also tweaked notification center so it says recent now so recent as of as opposed to missed is what it used to say there's also a today view for widgets in the notification center again instead of being accessed through other methods uh, you can access it directly through here just like you could before there's some tweaked airplay icons as well i'm not sure if we can see that but if i scroll over here we've got different iphone uh, iPhone headphones things like that uh, nothing playing but there should be some tweaked iconography in there also Apple music replaces the download music with downloads it's no longer no longer removable so we'll wait for this to open I actually haven't opened this yet so if you go into library downloads not downloadable music so we can downloads download but we can't really remove them just something new that's there as well maps now includes an option for show your parked location so we'll go in here and you'll see I'm way up here on Lake Ontario and it's going to show me my parked location if I have that information on so that's available now as well I haven't seen that yet myself but it is supposed to be there mail now has a new icon filter so if I go into here you'll see the little icon there it's a little bit different for filter and then we can filter by these different things as well so that's in there they just changed the icon a little bit nothing really crazy there are literally pages of updates and things for this beta in fact the developer updates as far as their notes are concerned is about 20 pages long and that includes fixes and bugs and known issues at this point like i said some are in music uh, some are in photos photos actually won't recognize faces across devices it will only work on the iphone and those faces won't transfer to say an ipad at this point so there's all these little tweaks all over the place that still need to be repaired and probably or will be for sure by the time it comes out to the public the public beta is due this month but we have no real time frame I'm guessing in two weeks when beta 3 comes out that's when it'll come out since that's usually when they start to become more stable but everything seems to be okay and fairly fast at this point and I'm sure there's tons of other little tweaks they've added 
things they've made a difference in. Uh, but right now, it's hard to say because there's just so much new without with throughout the operating system as well. I guess there's less wallpapers, and this is the iOS 10 stock wallpaper, but we should see some really nice wallpapers later on. One of the things they've changed is the unlock. I forgot to mention, if you push and hold this, it will unlock like just like before. But if you turn it on this way and slide left to right, you still have to click the home button to go through. So they've modified that a little bit. If you don't have, if you don't have Touch ID, you just simply get a prompt for your password and you're good to go. If you've used iOS 10 beta 2, let us know in the comments below if you found anything I haven't mentioned. I'm sure there's things that are there that we haven't discovered yet and will over time. So let us know in the comments below. I can do another video when beta 3 comes out and bring up all of the other fixes there also. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.